What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Good Monday evening. It's the Earth Master here on the live stream. Monday, June 27, 2022 is the date, about 9.01 p.m. California time. Yeah, a little bit late, uh, but got caught up doing some stuff here around the home front. Uh, better late than never, right? Uh, our latest earthquake activity shows a 1.3. It looks like out there in Nevada, we are seeing pretty good swarming activity around the Big Island. Also some activity around the Puerto Rico area starting to ramp up. And of course, look down here around the Middle America Trench southward throughout the uh, western portion of the Caribbean plate. Chile rocking and rolling quite a bit as well. Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here on the USGS map showing the last 24 hours of earthquake activity, 4.0 and above internationally, 2.5 and above uh, for the states and the territories. Uh, so a little bit of activity definitely ramping up here along the South America region. We did see that swarming kicking up. So there's definitely more than the fours that are showing up here on the board. Stand by for once. Okay, there we go. Woo! I had to sneeze. So <laughs> I had to mute it real quick. Goodness, just out of the blue. All right, it never fails. Uh, yeah, so there's more than uh, these couple fours here in the South America region. Definitely ramping up. And also throughout the Puerto Rico area. We'll bring up the all magnitudes here to pinpoint some of this activity. It looks about like about 12 earthquakes or so, including a 3.7 earlier uh, this afternoon time frame. That's about the largest one that kind of kicked in this cluster of quakes. Been ongoing here for quite a while. Looking at the last, uh, we can go back the last 30 days of 2.5 and above around this region. And uh, this has uh, definitely been swarming for quite a while, quite a few months. This swarming activity has been continuing here in the Puerto Rico area. Uh, just a very complex area for um, plate dynamics in the uh, troughs in the subduction zone here. Uh, Marioto, uh, Mariotos trough, got the Puerto Rico trench up here, all sorts of subduction zones around the Puerto Rico area. Kind of putting a squeeze in the island there. Uh, let's see what else we got throughout the states. A little spotty activity once again throughout the Oklahoma area. Uh, one earthquake around the New Madrid zone in western Texas. Cedar, Utah area getting in on some movement as well. Uh, far as California goes, seeing a little bit of activity here stretching across the southern end of the Cascadia. Now looking at these earthquake depths, depths here, uh, it kind of shows that uh, the majority of them are pretty deep, including a 2.6 at 28.1 kilometers some of these other ones deep as well 12 to 18 kilometers across the board so a little activity down there uh, towards the southern end of the cascadia in northern california i should say under northern california some spotty movement throughout the pacific northwest no major swarming kicking up around the seattle fault system yet uh, like we had seen a couple days ago alaska lighten up on the board here looks like outside of anchorage through the cook inlet into the areas north of here Right around this major fault system here, the Denali Fault, major player and producing some uh, rather large earthquakes up here around the Fairbanks area as well, seeing some movement, including the microquake, uh, looks like a 0.8 near the, uh, is that Minto? Minto, Alaska? Alrighty. Let's see what else we got. Lucian Trench looks pretty quiet for now, just one spotty earthquake here at 3.5 near the False Pass, Alaska area. Uh, and some activity also around Japan and over here around Taiwan where, we, where we've been seeing a little swarm of activity kick up here again. Uh, the, I'm not for sure what this is leading to, but it's definitely been picking up throughout the afternoon and over the last couple days, which show the last seven days of uh, magnitudes here. And all around Taiwan, around this plate boundary here, around the, uh, uh, what is that, Luzon Strait? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. A little bit of... Uh, swarming in the four and five range kicking off there around that area of Taiwan. One earthquake around the Mariana Trench here, 4.5 in the nor uh, northern part of the Mariana Islands. That one pretty deep though into the subduction zone, 249 kilometers there. Pretty deep act activity recently. Uh, Fiji Islands pretty quiet over here. We do have some movement out around the Papua New Guinea area. That one kicked up earlier this afternoon. But uh, nothing major going on here around the New Zealand area currently. Uh, we'll check out the EMSC model right now because there's not a whole lot of other earthquake activity taking place here on the USGS map. So EMSC model, here we come. <clears throat> Looks like uh, 
about the same. Not a whole lot of activity throughout the New Zealand area. We do have to zoom in a little bit to pick up the smaller magnitudes. And there's a couple of them. Looks like a couple threes out there uh, around the North Island and southward through New Zealand. Uh, but the Fiji uh, the uh, Fiji area and the Tonga Trench, Kermadec Trench, all quiet. And that's a little odd. It doesn't stay quiet for too long. Uh, there's all the threes and quite a few fours in the mix across the board here as well. Up and down the Peru Chile Trench and the Middle America Trench. Uh, pretty active, it looks like, around Australia as well. A couple twos across the board uh, in the south part of Australia and up here around the north northwestern portion. Uh, a couple threes kicking off. Somewhat, somewhat active around this area uh, over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, trimmer map tonight. Looks like about 24 measly epicenters of trimmer. Not a big number at all. In fact, a dramatic drop from last night. I think it was 100 and something or so. Let's see what it was. 132. That was from last night. Checking out Yellowstone National Park. The seismograph stations here. A little swarming activity we've seen in the, in the northwestern corner of Maple Creek area. Right there. A couple small quakes. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on here. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm uh, going to cover the... We'll check out the um, areas around Mount Shasta again. Because that uh, I'm pretty certain this is definitely some type of ash vent, steam vent, uh, and whatnot going on. But I am going to go to... Let's see, where'd my alert wildfire map go? I don't know if I have a link on here yet. Let me go back to this one because there's a better camera that monitors the area of this point of interest, I should say. Uh, and it's not that one. It's gonna be up here around the Mount Shasta area, kind of looking down. It's gonna be one of these right here. The one that's kind of covered. This one right here, it looks like. Uh, no, maybe I don't think it's that one. I think it's called Weed 2, which is an odd station. Uh, let's see if I can get it. It's not that one. Um, I guess where there was a different one up here that we're looking at. Let me uh, back out here a little bit and see. Get rid of this. Am I missing something here? Did they remove it? For the most part, looks like someone's controlling it. Hard Peak 2. All right, well, let me, uh, I don't want to waste too much time on that. Let's go back to the one here that is looking in that direction of Mount Shasta. Um, this here, of course, is getting dark, so these cameras are not super set up for, um, you know, nighttime vision. But we will go back the last six hours or so and see that this activity has no doubt continued within the region of the northern uh, flank of uh, Mount Shasta area. And sometimes we get these little skirt spurts of stuff just coming up out you know and then blowing away with the wind you guys see that still some activity here looks like a little bit of calming down here and then a couple squirts a couple squirts of ash who knows what it is um right there too i wish i could get this other camera to work um I'm not for sure exactly why it's uh yeah, someone's messing with that one. It's going to point to the north now. Um, let's see here. There's a couple different angles. Uh, let's see here. Hard Peak 2. I don't want that one. I want the other one that's kind of in there. But or maybe that's... Oh, okay. It's actually called uh, Herd Peak 1, it looks like. But that's the one that we just looked at. So I don't know. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on this. All I know is it's still continuing. Um, let me see if I can find Weed 2 in the list here. We'll go down and double check here real quick. Weed 2, here we go. Should have just, just done that. All right, let's see if we can... Uh, although this looks like it's a little bit... Uh, let's, let me hit play here and see what's going on. It is that camera... There's a little bit better view of it, uh, I suppose. But no, wait a minute. Oh, goodness. Yeah, 
Either way, there's definitely still some stuff kicking up there, folks, um, and I'm continuing to watch it. I'm thinking about going up there maybe tomorrow and uh, see if I can find out what's going on. You know, if it's just wind blowing ash around, which I find kind of hard to believe. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely some other cameras you can get on here and look around. Um, I'm just not going to go through all these and, and look at the moment right now. I'm just a little tired. It's hot. Uh, it's still eh, it's still about 90 something outside right now at uh, nine o'clock at night hit 106 today so i think i'm feeling a little bit of a uh, heat issues going on not enough drinking water somebody mentioned in the comments drinking some water that's what i need to do so uh looking at well you will check out the uh mount shasta seismograph station though double check that well let's first check the long valley super volcano see if uh See if we got stuff kicking up down here. Uh, looks like the swarm that was going on down there in Southern Cal kind of tapering off pretty dr uh, dramatically. Not a whole lot going on. A couple small earthquakes showing up here on the map of Long Valley Super Volcano. But uh, we're going to go check out Mount Shasta here and see what we got uh, in the mix up here. We'll go to the Mount Shasta site, which is pretty cool to check out. Uh, I don't think these guys have been having any earthquakes. In fact, this one's still probably offline. Let me double check and make sure. Yep, still offline for some reason. I don't know why. It's really weird. Um, here's GPS coordinate, but uh, here's the other station I've been kind of monitoring. And yeah, see, there's still that weird signal on here. They they vary in the in the uh, not only the length of time, but also the 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 molt the magnitude I guess I could call it the thickness if you will the lines they they all they're not the same so it's just kind of weird I'm just not 100% certain what this is um, but uh, I think it might be a good trip to take up there tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit cooler um, there's a couple different areas I can get I know 97 there's some beautiful shots up here uh, up going up through 97 from Reed Reed from weed that uh, gives you a pretty good angle of this region here so uh, if I do go up there tomorrow folks I will be live streaming from that region I know service is pretty good up there because I've taken highway 97 quite a few times going up to the uh, Klamath Falls area in Oregon but uh, definitely I think might be a worthy trip to go check it out uh, let's see what else we got solar weather movement uh, lack of activity See, I think the SDO site is back up and running. Yes, it is. Looks like things are back up. The Solar Dynamics Observatory is available once again as the power outage affecting the Stanford University has been resolved. So it looks like there was some type of fire around there which cut off power. So now all these uh, beautiful images are back. Kind of see the uh, the polarity of the fields here and some new developing, developing spots. I like it. Awesome current image woohoo UTC date right there of 28 June 28th uh, 3040 still kind of growing it looks like that does have a little potential a couple new developing sunspots uh, although it's not super active uh, I guess you know I guess it's a good thing that it went down when we weren't uh, loaded with sunspots you know and a bunch of flaring going on uh, looking at the solar flare detection chart a little bit of a yeah, it's not even that big of a deal. We did have a lower sea flare. Looks like earlier this morning time frame. Um, and then a little bit here within the last couple hours. Just a, a very small little solar disturbance. But other than that, things are kind of green and mellow across the board, folks. Um, three to four on the KP index, possibly. But I don't see it. Uh, unless something's coming that's late. Uh, and then after that, things are uh, diminishing and going back down. So I know we're heading towards solar maximum, but we're also in a little little quiet period right now. No coronal holes that are facing us. Um, this one here is 22nd, so they still haven't updated this one. This one here is the correct one, but when you go to click on it, it's linked to the old image. So I don't know if the solar ham folks know about it or not. Uh, let's check out the movie and see. This is accurate. Um, from the SDO, the official site. 
couple hours there of data. I could probably sit here and stare at this for hours. I'm not even joking. The sun is uh, an incredible an incredible thing, let me tell you. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Uh, again, with the Mount Shasta stuff going on, looks like... Uh, what's going on here near Whiskey Town? Looks like a little fire forward progress stopped. Reported this afternoon time frame. It looks like a couple acres burning over here. That's all we need. That would not be good. Trinity Lake area. Final size of fire, including the spot fires, is 2.3 acres. Uh, looks like they got it under control, so <clears throat> that is good. But man, I don't want to see any big fires up here. That would not be uh, that would not be uh, good at all. So, all right, guys, we're gonna jump off here. Have a good night. Uh, stay safe. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.